thank you. Thank you for joining us. Welcome. We really appreciate you investing some of your time with Data Logics today as we dig into our presentation, Leveraging PDF Cloud Processing for Digital Document Sustainability. My name is David Behrens. I'm the speaker today. Hello, everybody. Uh, as I'm flipping through my uh, slides here, hopefully you can uh, you can see me over there. Thank you, Duff, for giving me a quick shout out. Um, I am uh, running through things today. Uh, please, please know that if you've got any questions uh, about any of the content that we cover today, you are welcome to join us uh, at datalogics.com. We are very, very happy to answer your questions there. You can reach out to us and also you can reach out to me directly. My contact information is 100% uh, available. Uh, that being said, Duff, I think we are ready to roll, so let's jump right in. As I mentioned, my name is David Behrens. Uh, I have been in the product management space for over a decade. I'm the senior director of product at Data Logics, and uh, little did I know in my youth that my passion for digital documents would have a nice Venn diagram uh, within uh, product management for such a long time. Uh, communicating correctly, making sure that your recipients are getting what they need, making sure that you are uh, delivering the content in a way that is meaningful to people, that you expect to be delivering it to people. That's where my passion is. And I'm happy to be representing Data Logics uh, to do that today. So talk a little bit about Data Logics. What are, what are we doing here? Who is Data Logics? You know a little bit about me. Well, Data Logics has been solving digital document problems since 1967. Uh, it's actually coming up on 55 years strong. We were very proud of that. We started in publishing and print document solutions. And as publishing obviously moved from paper to digital, so did we. And as our clients' needs expanded, we identified the need for PDF support, which is why we're all here today, right? That portable document format and the value of that format. So once those PDF needs became clear, Data Logics partnered directly with Adobe to serve clients with a focus on those PDF solutions. And we've been providing Adobe PDF toolkits to our developers since 1997, 24 years and still evolving. That evolution helped us expand into a lot of industries far beyond print, public administration, associations, healthcare, finance, insurance, legal, education. Uh, PDFs are essential to our business in brief because they are essential to your business. Whether your industry was on that list or not, I am sure you have either created or had a PDF crossed your path. So quick fun fact while we have this slide up here. Um, you may not know that Data Logics is actually an exclusive Adobe portfolio partner. Our partnership and direct access to the Adobe team and the Adobe PDF library source code really helped make us unique in this space. Uh, Adobe founded that PDF standard. We are very proud to be a partner with them and we chose their partnership because we deserve the best code and the best solutions in the game. It's a relationship we're proud of and we're happy to have their logo beside our own today. So just as Adobe has been reaching out into the cloud space, Data Logics touched, uh, excuse me, launched our first cloud-based solution actually this year, the Data Logics PDF Utility API. That's available through the AWS Marketplace right now. So can you choose other solutions? Absolutely, you are more than welcome to, but if you wanna develop using a suite of products that are powered directly by Adobe source code, we are 100% here for you. And please, we're, we're talking a little bit about cloud momentum today, um, but our installation-based products, they're not going anywhere. So if you are currently a client, if you're using one of those, if you have questions about those, we'll cover a little bit of that today. We're really gonna focus on uh, archiving and document preservation, but again, feel free to check us out at datalogics.com. We're thrilled to have you with us on this journey. So the big question, this is really why we're here. Do you know if your documents are compliant? We've seen a lot of PDFs across our system where there is a tag that says this document meets PDFA standards. But when we actually go in and check to see if those standards have been met, that tag isn't always true. And that creates a little bit of danger for some folks. As more and more content, information, data become you know, digital, right? Compliance requirements and expectations are becoming much more relevant. And somehow they're also getting very blurry. There's a lot of differing expectations out there. You might say that you know, blurry or cloudy, dare we say it, since we're talking about the cloud a little bit today. Uh, you know, quick examples. Do you know how long that you are required to keep records available to your customers for their reference? Or for a potential audit within your own organization for yourselves internally? Uh, what are you even required to produce if if you are uh, if you are request if an audit excuse me is requested of your organization and really all of these questions really just lead to the big one which is 
how much is it going to cost you if you don't comply? And, and if I'm being 100% transparent, the answer is, I don't know. Those answers truly vary industry to industry and the kinds of uh, digital content and data that you exchange and engage in with your customers. But if you're concerned about the answer to those questions, rest assured you're in the right spot today. Uh, and this is actually a, a moment to tap Duff on the shoulder and ask him to pop up a poll really quick. Um, this is a question, again, we're, we're talking about cloud momentum, so we're really interested in this, right? Do you and your organization rely on external cloud processing today? That's processing in the cloud outside of your organization. Uh, if you could take a moment to complete that poll, that's really gonna help us make sure that we are delivering cloud solutions in meaningful ways. And we truly, truly do appreciate your feedback. And uh, again, quick shout out to Duff for pulling that poll up for us and uh, and getting some answers to those questions. So don't wanna keep you, our, our, our time is very brief. So as you're completing that poll, I'm gonna uh, move forward with a little bit of content, right? So we're, we're talking about the products that Datalogix has available. So really the question here is, what can you expect from us? And the simple answer is digital document sustainability. If, if you produce or you even manage a lot of content, if you ever even have to archive anything, we provide built-in support for long-term preservation that meets compliance standards. That's, that's exactly what we're here to talk about, right? That document standardization with conversion to and from PDF, those come standard with our uh, API product with controls that matter to you. As you're going through this conversion proce process, you should you should be able to decide on the compression method, the image resolution. If you want to maintain tags for for accessibility readers, right, to really support specific communities, we want you to have those controls in your hand, and those come standard with our API product. Again, that's available through the AWS marketplace. Marketplace, excuse me. So. While this default PDF specification, it absolutely meets a lot of business needs. We're not saying that the PDF standard is bad, but a lot of organizations do have strict requirements and regulations when it comes to document preservation. You know, people uh, in these industries with regulations really need to find reliable and trustworthy methods of archiving these files. Engineering firms need to keep technical blueprints. Law offices need to maintain bills, right? Court records, lots of references. Finance firms are required to keep strict records. We'll talk about a couple examples here in a minute. There's a lot of different versions of PDFA that are out there, actually. Um, many different specifications. And Datalogix can help you adhere to your industry regulations with our document archiving technologies, essentially, quote, right out of the cloud or right out of the box if you're choosing one of our install products. We support five of those PDFA flavors uh, by default, no questions asked, to give, again, that control to you. So as we mentioned, where the PDF standard promises portable files, the PDFA standard promises that documents can be reproduced, right, essentially forever. So, so think of this PDFA uh, as a defined profile that keeps your document self-contained. That means that the standard removes any content that relies on outside sources. And if it doesn't remove it, it embeds it in the document. So now your documents that are meeting the standard, right? They actually have all the information required for document display baked right into the document. It's contained in the document directly. And that includes a lot of things. I mean, think about how many fonts are available out there in the world. You know, any fonts that come from an outside source that are linking to an outside source, maybe something that you just have on your device, it's great. It's the font that speaks to you. It's your personality and your style. But if your document recipients don't have that font and it's not included with the document, they don't get to see your content. The PDFA standard embeds those fonts, again, directly within your file so that they always travel with your content. They can always be reproduced just as you expect them to. And that's just fonts. We've got additional controls for color management, annotation management, right? Essentially PDFA documents, this PDFA standard, anyone, any documents that meet that standard, can they contain links to external sources? Absolutely. They just can't rely on those sources to be reproduced. So the A, in PDFA does stand for archiving, archival, et cetera, but I think of it as A standing for always because your PDF always contains everything needed for reproduction. The world is, it's just quite frankly changing too fast to rely on outside resources to remain static. 
It is not a reasonable expectation. And that is why our clients come to us both for conversion to PDF and also specifically to meet these PDFA conversion and standardization requirements for regulations in their industries. They need to comply. A uh, quick, a little bit more of a detailed example here, banks, right? I mentioned finances earlier. Uh, they've got a lot that they need to comply with. There's a lot on their plates. Um, but one example is anytime, anytime a bank notifies an applicant of any action taken on their application, right? Approved, denied, we need more information, whatever it is, anytime that they notify an applicant, they've got to keep that communication on file and available for 25 months. It's over two years. Just to say we accepted or approved uh, or, or denied, you know, that's that's a lot. <laughs> that's one communication. But failure to comply with those requirements, it can result in some serious consequences, severe fines. Hopefully none of those fines will actually shut down any businesses, but depending on how many of those examples, right, quote unquote, of not being able to comply are out there, it it can really it can really have a very quick impact in a business. So the data logics PDF utility API. It, it can be integrated into workflows to convert these documents to this archival standard to ensure that your documents are accessible far into the future, right? The Data Logics PDF Utility API, by the way, is a private cloud offering. Your data isn't floating around your processes, your documents. It's not, it's not in a space that you're sharing with anyone else. So you have total control over both the back end and all of the files that are flowing through your systems. Our consumers and public administration, right, beyond banking, they rely on this PDFA standard for long-term access to laws, declarations, publications, patents, right? Any, anything you don't want people to edit. That's where they find the PDFA valuable. Associations and industries um, specifically need to archive things like technical documents. Uh, fun fact, did you know that airplane blueprints need to be preserved for at least 99 years? just so that those aircraft can continue to be serviced appropriately. 99 years. Healthcare industry, right? They're keeping doctor's notes, lab results, even x-rays for 30 years or more. Insurance and legal consumers, they like PDFA, not only because of these compressed images and the searchable text, right? They really depend on fast, reliable references every day. And PDFA empowers and delivers like a champion in this space. That's, that's why they love this standard. But regardless of the industry that you're in, you can clearly see the value here of using the Data Logics PDF utility, right? This API to string together whatever the calls are that you need to automate the capture and conversion of your documents, images, files. Even we even convert full URLs, uh, web pages to PDF then take a second step right through our API, it all, comes, it all comes standard with the product, to automatically standardize to meet the archival standard on top of it. So convert it to PDF, keep that portability, add that A for always, add that A for archive standards so that your documents are available whenever you or your, consumer, or your consumers need them. Go through the process and store them wherever you need to. And again, just this reminder, right? This is all happening your own exclusive AWS cloud computing instance. So your files, your data, your records, your processing, all stay private to you. So we're, we are new to the cloud space. I mentioned that on our first slide. And what we started with in the cloud are our best, best and most popular features from our most popular solutions. I mentioned PDF and PDFA standardization. We've added the ability to merge and split PDFs for, for more control. Uh, bulk documents together into one file so that they're actually, quote, less bulky. They're faster to recall. They're faster to download. They're faster to access. Search through all those documents with a single PDF or split so you can divide and conquer. Pull out the stuff you don't need. And we're going to continue to offer our install-based applications too, so don't worry about those. The good news today is that if you'd like to check out our cloud product, it is absolutely free for you. You get a trial. You get a trial. Oprah gives, oh, she's giving everybody trials today. We're offering you a free 30-day trial in AWS. You can try before you buy, no commitment. If you're already in the AWS marketplace, there's literally no reason to try us and check us out. And if you've never been there, check it out. There's really cool stuff in this ecosystem that you can piece together to truly build solutions that matter to you. So check out the link for the free trial. It'll be in our chat. I think we are very close, if not to the end of our time. So let me just close with 
if you do encounter any obstacles, if you do have any questions about these standards, how we can help support them, how we can keep your documents accessible, portable, meaningful, and available for long-term preservation, please reach out. We are here to help. Again, I'm David Barron, Senior Director of Product at Datalogix. Thank you so much again for your time, for answering our poll, and for investing some time with Datalogix today.